video for uh, 11, section 11.2, angle measurements. Uh, this one has that each interior angle of a regular polygon is 175 degrees. How many sides does the polygon have? And what we're actually doing here is tapping into some of the things that we learned uh, about the angle measurements of, of polygons. Just to kind of get our picture straight here, let me just to say, okay, say there's this polygon and here's one of its angles. Here's one of its angles. And we say each interior angle, and we, and you know, you can kind of imagine the rest of the polygon coming off like this. We don't know how many sides it is, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But we know that the interior angle of the polygon is 175. Well, we know that the total sum of the angles the interior angles is equal to 180 times n minus 2. This is the number of triangles. And this is number of degrees in a triangle. But I don't really see how this is going to help us right here. Um, we can calculate this total sum. Um, well, I, actually, you know what? I can see how this can help us. I, you know, I, I thought about it a different way, but maybe we can. Mm hmm. No, I, I don't think we can because I don't see how we can figure out this total sum knowing that each interior angle is 175. If we don't know the total number of sides in this triangle. So I just, I don't know. I was thinking about it. I, I don't see how this this formula is going to help us out in this case. Well, what else do we know about a uh, about the angle measurements of a polygon. Well, the other thing that we know is that the exterior angle measurements add up, they sum to 360. Let's see how if this can help us at all. If this is 175 and we extend this out to create this exterior angle, uh, and we know that these two angles, the interior and the exterior, form uh, a total measurement of 180 degrees because it's a straight line, then this exterior angle must be 5. Okay, well, now how does this help? Well, we know that all of the 5s, extend that out 5, extend that out 5, extend that out 5, extend that, all these 5s would total up to 360 degrees. So the number of sides, or the number of, excuse me, the number of these angles, these number of these vertices, which is going to be the same as the number of sides, the number of vertices times 5 is equal to 360. See how that works? Like this would be 5, this would be 5, this would be 5, and for each one of these vertices right here, there would have a corresponding side. So if we know that each of these exterior angles are 5 and they add up to get 360, then the number of vertices times 5 is equal to 360. So n would be equal to 360 divided by 5. And just take out a calculator real quick and that's equal to 72. 72. 72 vertices. So the shape has 72 vertices it must mean that it has 72 sides as well. So here's the answer, 72.